Hello, it's me. Has anybody missed me? No, are we. So, how's everybody out there in YouTube Landy? This is Susie Clancy coming to you on a wonderful, bright winter, effing freezing. I did not say the F word, I just said effing freezing rainy snowy spring morning it's supposed to be but it's not so how's everybody did i already ask you that so i have come on here this morning to do a video i'm so sorry i haven't done a video for the last couple of weeks i think or 10 days but i have a good reason i have this problem you see I keep falling asleep and <laughs> I lay down to have a nap for 40 minutes and I wake up three hours later and I go oh my god where's my light where's the day gone oh my god and I really apologize I haven't answered one person on my last video so in this video I'm thanking everybody profusely for commenting on my last video I always read every single comment, every comma, every semicolon, every quotation mark, every swear word, every look at every thumbs down, thumbs up. I do it all. I just didn't get around to answering it. And I figured, well, two weeks has gone by. And when you answer a video after two weeks, it looks kind of strange. I did try. I did try. The following day, I replied to 12 people. And then I saw somebody's thumbnail. Oh, Gus, what are you doing? Sorry, my cat is a... That strange noise you hear is Gus. Um, I did 12 replies. And then I saw somebody's thumbnail, as is usually the case with what I do. And realized, oh, I haven't seen that person for a while. So I went over to look at what they were up to watched their video, made a comment, came back, and my 12, and I know it was 12, wasn't a baker's dozen, it was 12. 12 comments were gone. I said, okay, YouTube is not working today. I shall do tomorrow. Well, you know what happens when we put things off. Sometimes we just don't do them. I didn't do it. Anyway, so I'm very, very sorry, but I love you all, and... It shall not happen again, but you know it will. So what's new? What's new with me? I have a rant. Okay, now, as you study my face, because I after, I after all, I am after all on a makeup channel. Now, so I've got a few things to say. I have a few things to say about skin care. I started on the skincare regime, I would say, really seriously, probably about four or five months ago. And like I've said before, before I just used to slap on moisturizer and everything else. But the one thing I still do is at least once or twice a week, I do take my Dove soap and I scrub my face with it because there's nothing like soap and water on any part of your body. And, and that's including your face to me. But I have a rant because since I've been doing skincare, now I don't know how to put pictures in before and after and show the hollows and the and the and the troughs and the mandarin or the the, the magnolia or the uh, what do you call those things? Uh, a, a puppet, and I'm, I'm petrified of puppets. The um, anyway, all the uh, the. The lines, you know the little lines that have come in there. Anyway, so usually I put this. I know where I like to put this. I put this under my eyeballs after I put on my bye-bye Miss American under eye. What the hell was that? Bye-bye Miss American under eye. Anyway, after I put on my bye-bye under eye, I always cover it with my Maybelline Rewind. I cannot go without this stuff. This, 
I have to have. As soon as one of them is gone or two of them is gone, I'm reordering. I have had this little sucker for two weeks. And every time somebody comes to visit me, what do I do? I forget to ask them to open it. Why well, cannot open this thing? I've got it, little bits of it peeled up here. It turns. Maybelline, for the love of sheep's sake, do something. This is impossible for people to open. When you're old, like me, give me a break. How am I supposed to? I need this for my under eyes. Actually, since I've been <clears throat> actually, since I've been putting um, no, it isn't shea butter, my hard, cold pressed warm, which I warm up under my eyes. I don't need a lot of product under my eyes. Now this is working for me. I don't know if it's going to work for you, but I can't open this. I can't open this. Anyway, so Holly, remind me to remind you next time you come over to please open this for me because I have tried scissors. I have tried everything. And I can't open it. So, so let's talk skin. I've noticed since I've been on my skin regime. Oh, and Jennifer Pasquale, I still have your bag of goodies here but I have not started to use them yet because I'm finishing up what I'm using now and then I'm going to start on your regime and see how that goes but you want to know something gals I turned 68 68 I turned 68 I'm a bloody antique I am now officially the second oldest lady here on YouTube and I think it all comes down to the skin you're born with. I really do. Um, I'm sure that you, yes, you do have to take care of your skin. I never did. I, When I was a teenager, I laid out in the sun. I put baby oil all over my face. I did everything wrong. I remember having a blister on my chin that went from here to here. And I remember in 1991, the year I got sober and the year my dad died, for some reason, I started walking, that's when I could still walk, and I walked and walked hours every day before or after work, and I became as brown as a as a, a berry. A berry well, anyways, I became red and then I became brown. And you know, and I had these green eyes popping out of my brown face. And I was just, you know, and I, I had sunscreen on, yeah, but that was in ninety one, so that's that's quite a few years ago. That was the one summer I was so, I was never as dark as that in my life, except maybe when I was younger. But getting back to skin, I really think that with all the, all the products, I'm not going to start pulling, all the things that, like I use about two or three different moisturizers, I'm using my Hydrololic Lock, Lock and Spock and Chalk and Hydro, whatever the hell, Acid, Hydro, 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 Hyrolonic. Acid. Do you know that you can take tablets for that and it's supposed to help your joints and uh, rejuvenate you from the inside? But I don't know how true that is. But I've heard I've heard that. I hear that on the radio all night, that they have these hyrola, whatever they call that, those hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic, whatever the hell it is. They have it in pill form. And then there's the uh, retinol. I use retinol. And I use my rosehip oil. And I have no problem. I don't break out. I don't. I don't get all flaky and dry, with with that um, the 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 Club Med stuff there or the Hollywood MD. When I put that on my on my neck and on my turkey waddle, I told you it's like an exfoliating thing. But you know what, girls and guys, I think it comes down to genes. Yes, I do. I think it really comes down to genes. I just happen to have been born, <laughs> not with good genes for a lot of things, that's for damn sure, but for my skin, because my sister is almost 10 years older than I am, and she hardly has a wrinkle, and it's just something that you're born with. My dad was 77 when he passed, didn't have a wrinkle in his face. My mother passed when she was a little bit younger than me, God love her. And she was a sun worshiper, and she was this little tiny, sweet little lady. 
and she was uh, very, very dark complected, and she had dark, dark skin when she got tanned, and she was she was almost black, and she just loved the sun so much that by the time she was my age, her face was ravaged by the sun, and she loved her makeup and everything, but she was really, really upset by the wrinkles that she had on her skin, and um, but you see, my dad didn't have that, so I think I just I think. I just have my father's genes in my face and where all the other genes all come from all the other things that are wrong with me. Well, God knows, I don't know. But you know, what I'm trying to say is that I look at gals here on, on YouTube and I'll see somebody trying to do this and somebody doing that and doing this and spending all kinds of money on all these face serums and everything else. And you know what? I think that if you're not, if you don't have good skin, I don't think these products, yeah, they're going to, they're going to help. This is just my humble opinion. And um, I am kind of wise because I'm not exactly a young chicky poo. But I think that, how long am I on here? I, th I think that um, it's not going to hurt you to, if you have the right product, but it certainly isn't going to cause any, it's not going to create any miracles. There are things like miracle blur and everything for blurring lines. Yeah. And when we come on the camera, we have to, it's funny because before when I used to come on camera, I used to double my, my makeup, but now I don't. I just put on, like, today I have on, oh, I got this little, it looks like it's in my little milk bottle. Hold on here. Where is that? Where is it? Anyway, you've all seen it. It's called, here it is. This is the foundation I'm wearing today. It's True Match. And it's by, I think it's by L'Oreal. I love my L'Oreal. Is it by L'Oreal? Yeah, I think it's by L'Oreal. Anyway, it looks like it's in a little milk bottle. And yeah, the packaging is not great and everything else. It's a drugstore product. But you know what? To me, this, NARS, Estee Lauder, my Argon Oil BB Cream, to me, it doesn't really make a difference. It really doesn't make a difference. Like I said, I think that... It depends on your skin type. I really do. I really, really do. Something I'm really loving is this Nivea. And it's cheap, and it's a primer. I love the way you put it on your face, and it feels cool, and it's a little bit tacky, and it is a perfect base for makeup. And a lot of people were saying on YouTube, oh, no, that's not for mature women. Well, you can't get much more mature than I am, and I can sure use this. I can use this. Not everybody. I haven't broken out. I haven't had any problems. So I am highly gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I highly recommend this Nivea balm for men. But don't get the mentholated one. Get the the normal one as a primer. So my message today is: if you watch Sharon Capehart, if you don't watch Sharon Capehart, well, you gotta watch Sharon. Sharon's just like dripping in money and everything. And she can go and she can have all these things done to her face, like fillers and Botox and all this. And a lot of you people can afford that. I can't afford it. I wouldn't be able to medically anyway, even if I could afford it. But I think basically, you know, when it comes to skincare, that you have to really, really learn how to put your makeup on properly. You have to look at the people who know what they're doing. You have to follow a good skincare regime. You have to take care of your skin. But basically, you've really got to learn how to put your makeup on properly. I was having a hell of a time with certain parts of my makeup for a while. Uh, one time I was having... A <laughs> um, I was... If I do my crease too dark, I look like Harpo Marx. You know, like I would put a, a really dark crease, and then you've got the eyebrows, and then it just looks very strange on some people. I think if you're fair, I don't know. But I know that there's a lot of a lot of things we do with makeup that can look great and a lot of things that can look really, really silly. So you just sort of have to find what your comfort zone is. It's like me, for example, I don't I don't I'm not a nude girl. Well I used to be when I had a good body. I'm not a nude girl. I like I like colors on my eyes and everything else and on my lips, and there's people that like nudes. We all have things that we prefer. And um, I like to match. I'm a matchy kind of girl. Oh, speaking of matching, this is this is a Lee's Watchier palette. 
And I used this this morning. And that's what I have on my hairy little eyeballs today, except for the pink. And it's a beautiful little palette. It's pastel matte. I bought this last year before my big operation when I went crazy and bought all kinds of uh, makeup because I wasn't quite sure I was going to pull through the operation. And I usually carry this in my purse to use as a mirror. And I said to myself this morning, Self, why don't you try using this? I've never used it. And this is a look I got with it. And I'm really, really happy. It's a beautiful, beautiful little palette. So if anybody's interested, it's Lise Watier with the flowers on it. And it's got all kinds of pretty little colors in it. Anyway, well, I guess that's my message for today. I hope this camera doesn't shut off. And uh, I want to wish you all a really happy week. And I guess my message today was don't spend a million dollars on skincare products. Get yourself some good skincare products. Do the best you can. Camouflage your bad, your bad parts, you know, like your under eyes and things like that. And, mar and your marionette lines, whatever. And emphasize your good parts. But don't spend millions and millions and millions of dollars on things that they promise you are going to cause miracles. Because it's not going to happen. Okay? Alrighty. So, goodbye, my friends. I'll see you once again. I'll be doing a video tomorrow for my tarot card channel. And if anybody doesn't know, I have another channel where I do. I'm a master tarot card reader. I love y'all. Thanks again for all your replies to my last video. And I shall be replying to this video if I get any comments. And uh, thank you very much for all the thumbs up and the thumbs down. And have a great day. Oh, and today, by the way, is Wednesday. And I'm on my way to the Vampire Club. Yahoo! Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun it is to. Bye-bye now. Oh, God, I hope this thing came out. Wouldn't I just die if this didn't come out? Wouldn't I? What do you think? Do you think it came out, huh? Do you? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? What am I forgetting? Oh, yeah, my eyelashes. See my eyelashes? I'm using that uh, uh, um, K-Prost. Lara Prost. Something Prost. Something Prost. What is it? K-Prost. K-Prost. But you see, I have glaucoma in my eye anyway. So I've been using these drops for like 14 years. I just never realized. Uh oh Oh, no, I'm not off. I never realized that it made your eye, eyelashes grow. So I just stick it in the cap, dip my brush in it, dip it to do. I've been doing that now for about three weeks, and my eyelashes have grown exponentially. They've grown at least half an inch. So, see? See? Bye. I'll see you next week. I am going to be doing a video. My New Year's resolution, made, making, I'm making it in February, is to do a video every week. Alrighty? Alrighty. So I'll stop falling asleep. Bye! Oh, I hope it's a video.